Hi guys, I'm Sajid. I'm back with another video, and today we will talk about Java break and continue uh, statements. So, what we're gonna do uh, uh, for as far as the break is concerned, we have already seen its uh, one usage in uh, one previous uh, video where we discussed uh, switch statement, and uh, it was used to jump out of a switch statement. Uh, so if uh, for example if you don't know much detail about switch statement I would recommend you to go back to switch statement video and study uh, there how it works so uh, not only break statement is used in switch statement but uh, it can be used to jump out of uh, other loops for example before we have seen like there uh, in Java we have for loop and uh, also similarly we have uh, while loop and do while loop so uh, in this example we will see how break statement can be used to jump out of a loop so let's look at our first example here so in this example um okay so if you see in this example what's gonna happen we have public static void main this is normal code then we have uh, for for loop here for i is equal to 0 i is less than 10 i plus plus and then inside this for loop we have one if statement and then system dot out dot print line That's right so what we going to what we are doing here we are saying when value of i will be equal to 4 we should break break means this this loop should break and we should jump out of it so it means when i will become 4 the system route out route print line will not uh, uh, for further uh, be executed and the program will finish so let's because already you have feedback here uh, the result here let's make it 5 so that you can uh, see uh, one different code with different results so let's run it see I mean now it's going up to 4 so when i is equal to 0 this break is not executed and system dot out dot print line prints it but when i this i becomes 5 we uh, the this uh, conditional statement or you can say our logical statement expression becomes true i is equal to 5 and this break is executed and it uh, jumps out of the loop and loop is terminated and program ends so this is how uh, the break uh, works here we can have uh, like even 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 we can say like 20 and we can say 15 so let's see another range there see at 14 the loop is breaking so how it works uh, the breaks a statement I hope you have understood it if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section so this was about the break statement next next look at uh, uh, Java continue statement the continue statement as like you know uh, the break was breaking the loop so what continue does it it doesn't break the loop but breaks one iteration I mean the loop is let's say uh, <coughs> is continuing and in one iteration we just say continue and the code after continue statement is not executed and our loop moves to next iteration so this is how it works so if a specified uh, here we have description if a specified condition occurs and continues with the next <coughs> the continue statements breaks one iteration in the loop if a specified condition occurs and continues with the next iteration in the loop for example uh, we have this example here okay how it's working see we have for loop which was printing uh, number from 0 to, uh, to uh, 10 so but we have what we have done here we have added a condition if i is equal to 4 then continue it means 
the four should be skipped because when our uh, execution reaches uh, this statement of continue it goes i mean the our execution sequence goes back to for loop here it doesn't continue with the system dot out dot print line and then the number four is skipped as you can see we have 0 1 2 3 4 is missing and then 5 6 7 similarly if i change this number to for example 7 this time when i will be equal to 7 we will it will be skipped so let's see see here 7 is not printed and our program completes so now i hope you understand what's the function of continue continue means to jump out of loop just for one time or, or just for one iteration right okay let's move forward next we have next we see another example where we have break and continue in a while loop together i mean there are certain situations where we can use this in the loop uh, this this in a while loop as well so let's look the example here okay so what what's going to happen uh, here we have one small program with, with uh, where, where we have one while loop and which um, uh, um, which runs until like i is less than 10 so this is the our uh, logical you can see expression here and every i we are printing system dot out dot print line and after printing we are doing increment i is equal to uh, i plus plus is equal to actually it means i is equal to i plus one this you remember from one previous chapter and after incrementing i what we are saying if i is equal to four then break break the loop this while loop will be broken right so now let's rather than four okay let's break it at six so this let's run it see we reached up to five and at when i become six it breaks the loop so i hope you understand the usage of break uh, statement here in this uh, while loop as well so let's look at another example here we see continue how continue works in while loop so we have while loop here which uh, in normal condition is supposed to um, loop for uh, uh, until i is less than 10 i mean for the 10 times but what we are going to do in the while loop we have put one condition if i is equal to 4 i plus plus and continue when we say this for continue what will happen one exit the, the, this one iteration after continue will stop and go back to next round and any code after this continue will not be executed right so what's going to happen again now when i is equal to 4 it means system dot out dot print line will not print number 4 you and you can see in the result 4 is missing yeah so what we can do let's make a change here and we let's say this time you want to skip number 3 right so let's run the code again okay our code is executing and see what's the result yeah that's right our three number digit three is skipped uh, in this round so this is how it works i hope uh, you have understood the meaning or uh, like um, the function of these statements uh, which are called break statement and uh, continue statement uh, these are actually used to break or keep continuing the loops and also use uh, uh, used in switch statement as well we have seen its usage there and uh, I hope this uh, 
is enough information for you to understand this concept if still not clear something you can ask me in the question in the comments and uh, one further thing please uh, like our channel subscribe our channel and share with others so that others can take advantage um, of this uh, you can say lecture and they can also understand or learn things so i'll be back with another video soon by that time take care bye bye